Yeah. So we'll see what exactly superoff is. Superoff is used to call what? Parent class constructor. If you want to call the parent class constructor, if you want to call, so we are going to use this super of keyword. It's not, it's not work, it will not work inside the method, only inside what? Constructor. So we'll see a sample application we'll see for understanding this word exactly super of. Okay. Let's check I'm creating a class and creator. So I'm creating a Java class I'm creating. Let's check. I'm specifying the class name as let's say bank is a class name. What is a class name? Bank is a class name. Okay. So in this bank class, just assume that it's a bank is a class. In this bank class, you create a constructor you created. In this bank class, you create what? You create a constructor, you create in the bank class. See here, I'm creating a constructor I'm creating called bank is a constructor I'm creating. I'm creating a constructor I'm creating here in this class. What is a constructor name? What is a constructor name? Bank is a constructor. So in this constructor, just I'm specifying, just I'm writing, I'm printing some output I'm printing on the screen. System.out.println of System dot out dot printer enough. Here I'm specifying here. I'm from bank constructor. I'm from bank constructor. I'm from what? I'm from bank constructor. I created a class I created called bank is a class name. In this bank class, I created a constructor I created. In the bank class I created, I created what? A constructor I created. Let's say the program, let's say the program and C drive Java 930 PM. Let's specify the class name. I'm saving the class name as bank.java is a class. Bank.java. Okay, so in the Chaley class, I'm creating a Chaley class I'm creating for this class. Let's say for example, so we could just create a class we created with the with a constructor called bank is a constructor. I'm creating one more Java class I'm creating. Getting one more Java class I'm creating. Let's take the class name is nothing but Kotak is a class name. What is the class name? Kotak is a class. Assume that this class is a child of, this class is a child of extends. This class is a child of extends bank. This class is a child of what? Bank class. Kotak extends bank. See here. In this class also, in the Kotak class also, I'm creating a constructor I'm creating here in the Kotak class. The Kotak class also, I'm creating a constructor I'm creating here. So K-O-T-A-K, -A -K, Kotak. Okay, so I created what? I created a constructor I created in the Kotak class, I created a constructor I created. In this construct, in this constructor, yes, I'm printing some message I'm printing here. System.out.println.off.
It's a Kotak construct. Let's say the program. What is this? What is the class name we specify? Kotak dot Java is the class name we specify. Kotak dot Java. So we created a class called Bank is a class. We created a class called what? Bank is a class. We created a constructor. We created in the Bank class. What is a constructor? Bank is a constructor. I'm from Bank constructor. Okay. I created one more class I created here called Kotak is a class. In this Kotak class, I created a constructor I created. What is a constructor? Kotak. Now here, if you create the object for this, if you create the object for this Kotak class object, if you create here, if you create the object for this Kotak class, if you create the object, see here Kotak, K is equals to new Kotak. I mean, I'm creating the object. I'm creating the object for child class, I'm creating the object. A sim just create a, just I created what? I created the object for child class. I created the object. But see the output now. See the output. It's going to call only the child class construct. We know that. We know that when you write this right side statement, it's going to invoke the constructor. Correct or not? This statement indicates what? The constructor. This this particular statement indicates about the constructor. Right? Let's see here what it is calling. Both constructors are calling. It is calling only Kotak constructor. Let's see the output. Let's go to the command prompt. Let's go to the command prompt and move to the location where you save the Java programs. Move to the location where you save the Java programs. We save the Java programs in the C drive. Java March, Java 9 p.m. folder, we save the files, right? Java 9.30 p.m. is the folder we save the files. Java C. What is the first class name? Bank dot Java. First compile this bank dot Java class. First compile this bank dot Java class. Next after that, let's compile Java. So Java C. What is the child class we created? Kotak dot Java. First compile the bank Java class. Next after that, compile the Kotak dot Java class. Then after that. We'll compile this Kotak class. We'll compile. After we'll run the Kotak class. Java Kotak. Java Kotak. Click on enter. So you got the output you got. I am from bank constructor. I am from bank constructor and the Kotak constructor. Meaning the both class constructors are invoked here. Both class constructors are invoked here. Right? So Whenever you create an object for child class, automatically the parent class constructor is also called automatically. Okay, you got it right. Now, where exactly you get the requirement of using this super of? Because we, we the first statement I mentioned about this super keyword, the first statement I mentioned about this super keyword is super is a keyword. The first statement I mentioned, what is I mentioned? Super is used to invoke parent class constructor. Super is used to invoke what parent class constructor it is used to invoke. See here in this particular case, without 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 using super of, without using super of, is it calling the parent class constructor or not? Yes. Here, without using super of statement, it is calling the parent class constructor is called here. We got the output. We got I am from I am from bank constructor. Then after that, we got quota constructor. We got. Are we use super here? No, without using super of also, we got the parent class constructor is called. If it is a no argumented constructor, listen. If it is a no argumented constructor, then you don't need to use a super of statement. Don't need to use. You don't need to use a super of statement. Automatically, the parent class no argumented constructor is going to be called. Automatically, it will call the parent class. No argumented with construct will be called automatically whenever you create an object. Let's assume that let's assume that the parent class, the parent class constructor is not a no argumented constructor. The parent class constructor is not a no argumented constructor. Assume that, assume that this particular constructor is taking one input parameter let's say for example int what is today day what is today day 
just you can specify the date if you specify that is fine like it's a 6th or 7th or 10th what is a day if you specify this date that day that is sufficient bank is a class the bank class constructor is taking one integer one integer as input called day okay just i'm printing here i am from bank constructor comma just i'm appending this one plus plus i'm appending this one day what is this one day just i'm printing some message i'm printing here i am from bank constructor of day now here the parent class constructor is not a default constructor or a no argumented constructor the parent class constructor is not a no argumented constructor now let's see here at that time earlier earlier before this program if this particular constructor is not taking any input parameters if this particular constructor is not taking any input parameters we call as no argumented constructor that no argumented constructor will be called automatically whenever you create a object for the child class automatically the parent class no argumented constructor is called but now here the parent class constructor is declared with one input parameter called int is input parameter d okay now let's see here let's see here let if we try to create the object for this bank class or child class if you create the object for child class if you create the object let's see you are going to get an error you are going to get observe here you are going to get an error you are going to get java c bank dot java there is no any issues with the bank dot java java c kotak dot kotak dot java java c kotak dot java and you click on this enter so we got error we got we got error we got see here constructor bank in class cannot be applied to given type required int found new or no arguments reason actual and far, formal arguments list different in length so you got some error we got if you see this statement if you see here constructor bank in class bank cannot be applied to given types because required is found required is int what we found no arguments we found meaning if the parent class is having any argumented constructor that's what i mentioned here super of can be accessed only within the constructor here here i mentioned here here i mentioned if the parent class is having any argumented constructor it should i mention this statement if the parent if the parent class is having any argumented constructor in the child class we had to create the same argumented same argumented constructor we had to create in the child class the parent class is having any argumented constructor in the child class we had to create the same argumented constructor and by using super of by using super of statement send the argumented send the argumented parameter send the argument to what parent class constructor if you try to understand this statement this is what we are discussing now now here we created a class called kotak is a class it's a child of bank class correct or not it's a child of what it's a child of bank class so if you are extending any class if you are extending if the class is having any argumented constructor if the class is having any argumented constructor the child class also should be declared the same argumented constructor the child class also should be declared what the same argumented constructor meaning in the child class also the child class also i'm defining here int this is one thing the child class also we had to create the same argumented constructor we had to create in the child class and see here now see the program and compile this program here now java c bank dot java java c bank dot java 
Java C Kotak dot Java. So again, we got the error. Still, we, we, are, we got the error here because while you are creating the object for this Kotak class, while you are creating the object for this Kotak class, earlier, earlier it's an empty, so you, you, know, you can create the object you can create, but now this constructor, this constructor is taking one int as input parameter here, right? Kotak is taking what? One int as input parameter is taking. So I'm giving the input for this Kotak constructor. Let's say, for example, so let's say today date is seventh is a today date we configure zero seven we configure Kotak A is equals to new Kotak of I configured zero seven. And it's going to take this argumented constructor will be take. It's going to take what? The argumented constructor will be take here. See Java C bank dot Java. See Kotak dot Java. So still you will get an error or without any error we got. See still we are getting the error we are getting here still. See the bank constructor, constructor bank in class bank cannot be applied to a given type. Common was, uh, you said, you said if, if the parent class is having any argumented constructor, the parent class is having any argumented constructor, in the child class also we have to declare the same argumented constructor we had to create and read this statement important thing in the child class we had to create the same argumented constructor and and by using by using which keyword super of by using super of statement send this argument to the parent class constructor by using what super of statement we can send this argument we can send to the parent class constructor we can send but this super of is used only within what only within that particular <clears throat> so only in the particular class constructor only can use this constructor only can use this super of let's see here super of super of I'm calling today meaning from the parent from the child class what we are doing here from the child class we are sending an argument we are sending an argument we are sending to the parent class constructor we are sending an argument see super of today okay let's save the program compile and run the program java c bank dot java you see bank dot java kotak dot java bank dot java kotak dot java and java kotak we got the output we got from bank constructor from kotak constructor okay so where exactly you will get requirement of is using this super of statement is nothing but which is used to call the parent class constructor that is one reason which is used to call the parent class constructor is a main reason Second thing is nothing but if parent class is declared with all any argumented constructor, okay. In the child class also we had to declare with the same argumented constructor, and by using super of keyword, by using super of keyword, we can send that argument. We can send to the parent class constructor. We can send the variable. Okay, so understand right? So this is about the super keyword. Is about what? Super keyword. For method, it will not apply. It will not apply for method, it will not apply. In method overriding concept, it will not apply this one. If you don't, if you don't specify, because even if you make a small changes in the child class, it is going to consider a separate method, not as a method overriding. So this particular super of is not applicable for methods, only for constructor only the super of is applicable. Okay. So one last statement about this super keyword. One last statement about this super keyword. So Azure has given one statement I mentioned here. In Java, every class is a child of java.lang.object to class. Somewhere I mentioned, I guess, okay. So I'm writing here, again I'm writing now. In Java, In Java, every class is a 
in Java, every class is a child of in Java, every class is a child of Java dot lang dot object is a class. In Java, every class is what? Every class is a child of Java dot lang dot object is a class. Every class is a child of Java dot lang dot object is a class. So directly if you print any class object, if we print any class object, if we print any class object, it will print the address location. It will print what? Address. It will print address location of an object. In Java, every class is what? Every class is a child of Java dot lang dot object. Every class is a child of Java dot lang dot object. Okay. If we print any class object, it will print the address location of an object. So we'll try this one. We'll try this statement. We'll try. If you print any class object, if you print, it's going to print what? Address location of that particular object will print. It will not print any value. It's going to print you what? Address. Where it is created that particular object, that particular object location you are going to get address. Let's do one thing. We create we create a class we created right here. Kotak is equals to new Kotak. Okay, fine. We are calling the we are calling the constructor in the Kotak class. The constructor will take this 07 as input. And with the help of this parent class super off method. Super off. We are called. We are sending this data. We are sending to our parent class constructor. We are sending the data. Okay. Now here, I created an object for this Kotak class. I created an object. I created the object for this Kotak class. I created the object. Now what I want to do is, what I want to do is, I want to print this object. I want to print. See, I'm not accessing any variable. If you, if there is any variable. We use that reference dot. We, we can access a particular variable. You can access, but my requirement is directly. I want to print this object. I want to print here. System dot out dot. System dot out dot print ln of. System dot out dot print ln of. I'm specifying here. Directly, I'm printing that class object. I'm printing directly. System dot out dot print ln of k. Directly, I'm printing what? The object I'm printing directly. Let's run the application. Let's see the output. What is the output you are going to get? Let's see now. Java C Bank.java Kotak.java Java C Kotak.java and Java Kotak. See here what we got. Kotak at the date 15DV, 15DV9742. So we got this address location we got, right or not? We got this address location we got. Okay. So meaning here, in case of Java programming language, if we print any class object, if you print any class object directly, not data or not method, directly if you print any class object, if you print directly, it is going to show you some address it will show you. The address location, where the data is captured, or stored, the address location are going to get. That's what we got here, right? Kotak at the date 515 DB, like that, we got some values we got. This is all nothing but this is nothing but address location. Okay. My requirement is every class is a every class is a child of Java dot lang dot object. If we print any class object, it will print the address location of an object. If you print what the address location of an object will print. Okay. To customize the address, to customize the address while object is printed. Or if you want to customize that message. Every class is child of what Java dot lang dot object class. If you print any object, what is printing here? Some address location is printing here. 
if you want to display or if you want to print the custom message let's say if you want to print the custom message if you want to print the custom message when when we print an object when you print an object override to string method override which method to string method. meaning still if you are having any doubt like for example this method overriding or every class in java every class in java is a chain of java dot lang dot object to class okay now we see in practically we see in here directly if you print any class object if you print it is printing the address location is printing directly we know that it's going to print you what address will be print here instead of address i want to print the value i want to print here. instead of address i want to print some i want to print some value i want to print so if you want to give your own message if you want to give we had to overwrite a method in the current class in current class we had to override a method we had to override called two string is a method name what is the method name two string is a method when you print any class object internally it is going to call the two string method will be called internal so now here what i'm doing is i'm overriding the two string method i'm overriding here i'm overriding the two string method return type of this method is nothing but public is a return type public data style is string public string public string override the method what is the, what is the method mean two string is a method public string two string is a method in this two string method observe here it's always return type of this string return type of this string is nothing but return type of this particular method is what string is the return type of this particular method so in this method let's say it's a return type right we have to add this, this method is taking the string type definitely we have to add the return statement we have to add return so one second yes So what we are doing is we are overriding this two string method. Return type of this two string method is nothing but string is the return type. So we had to add some return value. We had to specify here. We had to add some return value. We had to specify here. Let's take. I'm specifying a message as sample. Sample message is a message I'm showing here. Sample message is a message I'm showing. Let's try to understand again. Earlier, if you print the object, if you print the object directly, we got the address location we got. If you print an object, we got what? We got the address location we got. Right? But now what we are doing is, and we discussed a concept called in Java, each and every class in Java, each and every class in Java is a child of java.lang.object class. Okay? You can override there is a method called two string is a method when you print an object basically internally it's going to call the two string method okay. that's why return type is what string and i'm giving some return value i'm specifying see earlier this is what the output we got we got the output we got kotak at the rate 17 some address location we got now see what will happen here java c bank dot java kotak dot java So missing the semicolon, how to give the semicolon, how to give here. We're not specifying the semicolon for return statement. 
Yeah, so you got that. Now you can compile this program. You can compile Java C, Java C Bank dot Java. So successfully it is compiled. Then after that we will write Java C. So this next one, Potag dot Java Bank dot Java program we compile. Potag dot Java program also we compile. Now Java. See, we got, we got sample message we got. What we got last time? Last time we got some message we got. When you run the program, just if, if you create an object for any class, if you print that object, if you print here, we, we got some address location we got, 1529329, some address location we got. But now here, we are customizing that one. Every class is a child of, every class is a child of java.lang. object class. In Java, every class is a child of java.lang. object class that object class is having a method called that object class is having a method called what you return here what is the method name is specified okay so it's specified a method name right so so you understand here every class is child of java dot lang dot object class if you print the object directly, you are going to get some address location you are going to get. Instead of getting the address location, if you want to customize the value, your own input you, have, you, want, to keep, you want to give when the object is created, at that time, override this toString method. Override the toString method in the activity class. That is sufficient. Okay. Instead of the default address, you are going to get the address what we configured you are going to get here. Okay. So I hope you understand these statements. We understand this statement, you understand super keyword is accessible within the instance method and okay. So with the help of with the help of this parent class, sorry, with the help of child class super of we can call the parent class, constructor we can call. Next one more statement I had to discuss that is the second statement here. Super of super of should be the initial statement in the constructor. Super of should be what? The initial statement in the constructor. Meaning here, here also we written the super of keyword written here. Somewhere in the Kotak class, we're calling this today class, we, we open this, let's say for example, we're calling this super of today we are calling. Super of today we are calling. Super of should be what? The initial statement in the constructor. Meaning for example here, hey, I don't want to first display this super of today. My requirement is I want to display this one after. So my requirement is to say I want after printing this system dot out dot print I'm calling this super of statement I'm calling here. Super of today I'm calling after after this particular line of statement. I specified super I specified. Now let's save the program and compile the program. But now here you're going to get an error you're going to get here. Java C bank dot Java Java C IC ICI dot Java sorry not ICI say what is the class we created Java C Kotak dot Java Kotak dot Java So we got the error we got. We got the error we got. See what is the error? Call to super of. What is the error? Call to super of must be what? Must it must be the first statement in the constructor. The super of keyword can be accessed only within the constructor. Okay. Even in that constructor also, it should be the initial statement. It should be the initial statement. See in our program earlier, in our program we return earlier here. Super super is the initial statement we created, but now later what we did? We moved this super we return after the system dot out dot print LN. So if you if you are using super of keyword you decided to use, you decided to use a super of keyword you decided to use, then super of should be what? Super of should be the initial statement in the program. Okay. 
remember this remember this is about what method overriding what is method overriding concept means what is in by super what is in by super keyword and what is super of super of keyword so these topics we discussed in the last class we discussed about these topics we discussed method overriding and all so here the first statement if you see here the definition of method overriding if you read it clearly if you read here you'll find one statement you'll find here see the second statement here the second statement is nothing but this method overriding this method overriding is one of the best example for runtime polymorphism runtime polymorphism what is in my polymorphism here we discussed right theoretically we discussed first day class we discussed theoretically okay again we'll discuss again just we'll write one statement what is a what is the definition of this polymorphism polymorphism is nothing but the ability of an object will act differently in different situations that's what the polymorphism is the ability of an object will act differently in different situations that is what the polymorphism is basically why the method overriding is called as runtime polymorphism is basically who is going to run the java program who is going to run the java program ultimately jvm Correct or not? Who is going to run your Java program? JVM is going to run the Java program, right? So polymorphism means ability of an object will act differently in different situations. Here, who is going to run the Java program is JVM is going to run the Java program. How you called us? How you called us this particular? It's a runtime polymorphism. This particular concept, method overriding concept, is called as runtime runtime polymorphism. Why we called as runtime polymorphism? Because there are two there are two Java files, two dot class files with the same name. Try to understand was why we called as method overriding is a runtime polymorphism because. there are two methods are available there are two methods are available just let me let me you know think how to explain this one. Yeah. so jvm is going to execute the java program right in our case let's say for example in our program who is going to run this java program jvm is going to run the java program in jvm let's take bank class is having a method called in method overriding actually we had discussed that particular concept in method overriding the runtime polymorphism the parent class is also is having one method with the same name and the child class is also having a method with the same name then at that time based on the object creation for which class you created the object it's going to load that particular method will be load understanding here the runtime polymorphism why they given the name as runtime polymorphism for method overriding concept because there are two methods with the same name one is thing one is in the parent class one more thing is the child class one more thing is the child class so there are two methods are there so jvm is going to get some conflicts which particular class you have to load which particular class you have to load okay so this runtime polymorphism runtime polymorphism means that, that that is a runtime polymorphism method overriding is one of the best example because the jvm is going to execute the program there are two methods with the same name one is a parent class method second thing is a child class method based on the object for which class you created okay based on the class of which class you get the object only that class method only you can call for example you create the object for child class only the child class method only you can call so that's why we call it as runtime runtime polymorphism so enough about this super keyword there is another important keyword called this enough about the super let's let's talk about what this 
Let's see, this is one of the, one of the access variable. This is one of the is is one of the keyword this is one of the one of the keyword one of the keyword in java this is what one of the keyword in java it's another keyword what this this is used is this is used to refer the current class this is used to refer refer the current class super is used for what super is used to refer the immediate parent class but this is used to refer what the current class if you want to represent the current class if you want to represent we use this we use and this of is used to invoke the parent class constructor there super of is used to invoke the super class constructor here this of is used to invoke this of is used to invoke the other constructors from a constructor This is what, this is a keyword in Java. By using this, this, we can refer the current class, current class methods and data we can access. And this of is used to call what? The constructor. The constructor, this of is used to, used to invoke other constructors from a constructor. Meaning from one constructor, if you want to invoke other constructor, if you want to invoke, you can use this, this we can use, this of we can use, okay? And this can be sent as an argument to a constructor. This can be sent as an argument to a constructor. This of is this is used for what? This is used to refer the, the current class. Refer the current class. And this of is used to call the other constructors from a constructor. And third thing is nothing but this can be sent as an argument to a constructor. This can be sent what? As an argument we can send to a constructor we can send. Okay. So we'll talk about this, this about, we'll talk about this, this keyword. We'll discuss in the tomorrow class, we'll discuss. And tomorrow, or if possible, I'll take some long session I'll take from 10.30. From 9.30 to 11 o'clock, we'll take like that tomorrow session. Okay. So today's session, we, we've seen what exactly super office. We've seen what exactly super office. We've seen the tomorrow class. The tomorrow is Saturday. I know that. But I'll take even if it's Saturday also, I'll take the class. Because yesterday, yesterday I have not taken the class. Right? That's it. Tomorrow, I'll take the class. The same time, 9.30. But I'll take from 9.30 to 11 o'clock. And uh, we'll discuss about this. This keyword we'll discuss in the tomorrow session. Okay. So anyway, thank you guys. Uh, see you tomorrow in the tomorrow session. We'll discuss about this. This keyword we'll discuss in the tomorrow's class. Okay, thank you. Thank you.